Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash. Jacob, uh, one of the believers here in the States asked, I'm aware of a fellowship that is allowing teachings from Madame Guion. Do you believe Madame was born again? She may have been. She came from a dark age. Madame Guion is a Roman Catholic mystic, a Roman Catholic mystic. There were various Roman Catholic mystics, um, and they had very peculiar ideas. Somebody who is sometimes considered to be a Roman Catholic mystic is Thomas a. Kempis. If any of the Roman Catholic mystics was probably a believer, I would put my money on him, not that I'm a wagering man or a gambling man, but in a matter of speaking, I'd put my money on him. Madame Guillaume, like all the Catholic mystics, most notably John of the Cross being another, and Teresa of Villa, Teresa the Little Flower being another. They were very, very confused, spiritually and doctrinally. They confused mysticism with spirituality. I think it is a folly for churches to teach Madame Guillon. There is an, another one called Fenlan, Fenlan, who some Christians get caught up with, and in the Eastern Orthodox tradition, there was Brother Lawrence. All of these people were mystics. I cannot judge whether they knew the Lord or not personally. What we can judge is their doctrine. And their doctrine was colored by mysticism and is no basis for the study of, of God's word. Um, it's just silly. These are just ignorant people. Now, it's fine to be aware of Madame Guillaume. I'm aware of Madame Guillaume. I know what she said, or those Catholic mystics said. It's fine to be aware of it, but to actually study it, instead of studying the Word of God, <laughs> instead of having Bible studies, I think is rather ridiculous. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But... In this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. 
what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you. Thank you.